Hi, this is James C2. In today's tutorial, we're going to be discussing the contact entity, one of the most fundamental entities used within CRM. A contact could be considered to be any person of interest to your business who you wish to track interactions with. So that could be customers of your business, suppliers, partners, anything really. So let's take a look at the CRM. Contacts can be found under the service area, the sales area and the marketing area. It can also be configured within CRM to appear under any area that you wish. I'm going to, for the purposes of today, demonstrate it through the sales area. So we go to the sales area, click on contacts and we see a view of the contacts. I'm going to change the view to show active contacts. So this will show every contact that is in our system who has a status of active. I can also change that to inactive to show all of the contacts with an inactive status. There are none in our database but that's how you do it. I can also pick one of the other views, contacts I follow, that will list every contact I have specifically marked as being of interest to me. So let's look at a contact record. Within the contact record form, there are a few things to consider. On the left hand side, we have the contact information. So that's things like name, title, company name, email, address, and so on. Any fields that are in blue are clickable, so the user can interact with it. If I click on the C2 software, that will take me to the form for C2 software. If I click on the info at c2software.com, which is an email field, that will open the user's email client and auto populate info at c2software.com into the email. If we scroll down, we can see that CRM uses the address and will populate a Bing map showing the contact's location. Down the right hand side, we can see the company that the contact works for. We also have a list of all recent cases that have been raised against that contact. We can scroll down and again, show all recent opportunities relating to the contact. So any kind of information that's related to the contact can be displayed on the form and everything is clickable. If, for example, I wanted to access this case record, I simply click on it and it takes me to the case record. In the middle of the screen, we have what is called the social wall. And what this does is it lists interactions with the contact. So we have auto posts and user posts. Auto posts are ones which are added by CRM itself. For example, when the record is created, an auto post is created on the wall. Users can add posts manually. If we want to view them, we can click on that. No one has added any to this record. We can add activities in this area and I'll demonstrate how simple it is to add a phone call relating to this contact to their record. I simply click on add phone call. I choose the direction. Is it an outgoing call or an incoming call? I shall say it's incoming. The contact is auto populated and I can type in the details here. And that creates a record of the phone call on the contact's record. We also have access to other information related to the client. If it's not specifically displayed on the form in the way that cases and opportunities and entitlements are, we can also go to the top in the ribbon bar and see all of the related information in here. So if I go to activities, as well as seeing activities on the social wall, I can click on activities here. So I'll choose all activities and here are all the activities that relate to that contact. Another useful feature of CRM is the ability to add tasks and activities and records relating to contacts without actually going to the, the contact form itself. To demonstrate that, what I'll do is I will pretend that I'm working in a different part of CRM and I receive a call from that contact. I can add it quickly to the CRM by simply clicking the create button. I choose phone call. I enter subject for it and in the call to area I'm going to select my contact enter some details here's my contact description is test call completed for the purpose of today the duration of the call was one minute so that can be reported on and I can also relate the call to any other entity so I'm going to relate it to a case I'll add it to this case here and once it's saved, that's a record of the call made, I need to also mark the call as being made as complete. So I'll complete the call. And now if I navigate to the contact record, we should see that call reflected on their record. If I look at activities, here is the call being made. I click on it, I can open it in the contact form. Because it's been set regarding, I can access the case 
click on that and that takes us to the related entity and that is the beauty and the power of using contacts. If you enjoyed this video please follow us on Twitter, like the video or subscribe to our YouTube channel and if you'd be interested in a free trial of CRM please don't hesitate to click on the link or get in touch. Thank you.